Hey guys, good morning. Uh, today I'm working on our 1948 P48 uh, Chevy 3100 project. Um, and I'm kind of tired of wiring. I've been doing a lot of wiring in the previous uh, videos, so I apologize for the lack of anything uh, interesting to watch. Um, I tried to uh, show some different angles and stuff and show how I was connecting things up, but I, uh, I understand wiring is uh, kind of boring. I've still got a few things that need to get hooked up here on the 48, uh, a couple sensors that uh, aren't currently uh, connected to the computer, one of them being the vehicle speed sensor on the transmission, which um, I've just got to run the wires to that, um, and the O2 sensor. The O2 sensor uh, is going to be located here in our collector flange that connects to our uh, exhaust pipes that run out the back of the truck. Um, I've got to uh, weld in a bung into it. So I've got your standard O2 sensor bung here with a step. Um, and I've got to punch a hole here in the collector flange uh, to 15 sixteenths. And then clean it all up. This is all stainless, so uh, clean it up and weld that into there. Uh, since I'm going to be working with stainless today, I'm going to also do the uh, draw straws for the fuel tank. I finally got in my uh, AN-6 um, weldable bung. It's just a mild steel bung um, that uh, will weld into the top of the fuel tank and then our stainless pickup tube will drop to the bottom of the tank. So I've got to, uh, got to shorten up the draw straw here to the right length for the tank and put a going to put a 45 degree angle on the bottom of it uh, just so that it doesn't have any pickup problems at the bottom of the tank. <coughs> Weld in my AN bung into the top of the draw straw here. So I'll try to make a nice tight little bead there using a 16th inch filler. Uh, the material for the draw straw is 316 stainless and I'm going to be using uh, I think I've got 30, 308 filler to weld into uh, to use to weld this together so my plan is to weld the uh, AN bung to the draw straw first and then punch a hole in the top of the tank uh, mm -hmm. that will clear my bead and uh, then weld the bung into the top of the tank. That way we have a, a separate pickup, separate from the uh, fuel lever sen level sensor in the, uh, in the tank. And uh, cap it off with a couple 90 degree aluminum and push lock fittings here that will then connect to our fuel lines and uh, run up to our TBI throttle body and our fuel pump. So the return line it's going to be a little bit shorter than this. I'm going to put a 90 degree leg into it and uh, just direct that towards the side of the tank so the return fuel will not splash down into our uh, gasoline in, in the bottom of the tank and aerate it, uh, causing pickup problems for our pickup tube or draw straw. So that's the plan. Uh, I've got uh, got the welders moved over here, so I'm going to get that set up and set up my fancy fab table and uh, start start welding. One of the reasons I'm most excited to do a little TIG welding today is I get to use my new uh, my new CK torch and uh, this Superflex cable uh, from USA Weld. Um, my old uh, my old torch seen better days. Um, you know these things aren't very high quality to begin with. My my TIG's a AHP TIG and this is their standard torch body that comes with it and uh, I've put it through a few miles as you can tell and uh, it, uh, it hasn't been providing the best gas coverage lately so uh, it was time to uh, time to replace that so now I've got a nice new lightweight uh, awesome 25 foot lead uh, on my TIG torch so uh, I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm going to keep the old one as a backup and I've got to put the put the trigger on here uh, for uh, using the finger finger switch and I've got to extend that out to 25 feet but uh, I don't need that today so uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started and see how this bad boy works. Alright guys well I'm all set up here ready to uh, 
tack uh, my stainless bung into our stainless collector flange. Um, I've prepped out the draw straw, both ends, and uh, both of my AN6 bungs here that I'm going to weld onto the draw straw. I just used a wire wheel on my bench grinder for prep and then uh, after that I wiped everything down with some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. I got my torch set up with a 2% uh, uh, thoriated 16th inch tungsten. I'm running a number 7 cup and a gas lens to start with. Uh, I might change that cup size. I've got a couple other cups here uh, depending on how things look. So uh, I think I'm about ready. I've got my old man glasses so I can see what I'm doing. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start laying some boogers on this thing. Hopefully uh, hopefully it comes out decent. Uh, I'm running uh, about 5 seconds of post flow just to make sure I don't crack anything. Uh, about 10 to 15 CFH of argon. And uh, I'm, I am using 308 filler because that's what I have on hand. Normally with 316 which is or uh, 316 stainless which is what the draw straw is made out of um, I should be using probably 316 uh, filler but being that uh, this is an aerospace I'm not building uh, you know I'm not building the space shuttle here I think it's going to be just fine um, and normally you would want to use a 316 uh, filler with 316 stainless um, or any grade below that. So I'm not sure what the collector exhaust uh, pipe is made out of, but it's probably probably 308 is my guess. So uh, I think I'll be fine on that. I'm just not sure how the draw straw is going to come out, but I think we'll be okay. So I'm going to set up the camera here, uh, close my garage door so I can prevent my shielding gas from blowing away, and uh, start start tacking it up. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for me today. Uh, I lost a bunch of footage today. I, uh, battery went dead and uh, lost lost probably 90% of the uh, video, the welding video that I did today. I'll try and be better about that for the next time. The, uh, the bung for the collector came out just fine for our O2 sensor. Um, I undercut it quite a bit. I think uh, you know, I'm not used to using 16th inch filler and a 16th inch tungsten, and I wasn't uh, I wasn't adding enough filler metal. Um, usually, I, I weld mild steel with 332nd rod and uh, 332nd tungsten, and um, filler isn't usually a problem. But on the 16th inch, you know, you have to add a little bit more, especially if you're running hot on something like this. So I ended up undercutting the bung a bit here on the sides. Fortunately it's super thick and uh, it's not going to be a problem. So everything looks great on that. Uh, one thing that some of you guys might have picked up on that I didn't pick up on until after is uh, I left the steel plug in the bung. You know this is a regular mild steel plug in a stainless steel bung and uh, you screw that in there if your oxygen sensor is a temporary one and you're doing some testing on your you know on your motor to see uh, see how it's running um, 
and do some tuning with the, with an oxygen sensor and then you remove the oxygen sensor and put the plug back in. Well, we're not going to be using the plug in our application. Our oxygen sensor is going to stay in this bung. But um, what I failed to do is remove that before welding. And because it's two dissimilar metals, you know, stainless likes to gall and uh, that's what happened. Um, electrolysis happened between the two metals and it stuck the plug in place. Fortunately, I was able to pop it free and um, and no harm, no foul. The threads are fine, but uh, you know that's something you want to be aware of. If you're welding stainless specifically and you're using a bolt or something else to protect the threads, uh, always remove that before you weld um, or coat it in anti-seize so it doesn't stick in there. I've done that before and uh, I, I didn't learn my lesson the first time apparently, but. It worked out fine for this uh, for this bung here. The oxygen sensor threads in nice, and um, now we're ready to hook it up to the computer and uh, get this thing started up. Kind of, a, I'm going to call it a a draw on the draw straws. The uh, the welds came out good, and um, I pressure tested them with air, both of them, and uh, I didn't have any leaks. I submerged the end in water, put an AN fitting, and plugged the AN the end of the AN fitting with a piece of uh, uh, of our uh, push lock hose and a bolt you know to plug the end of the hose uh, and then I clamped it with hose clamps clamped a hose clamp on the end of the draw straw and pressurized the whole setup underwater and uh, I was getting leaking from the AN fitting and I'll show you why on this one the other one didn't leak when I welded this draw straw and I welded the bung onto the end of it um, everything looked great and I went to uh, went to grind out the underside of the bung here so that I could have a shoulder to weld onto the top of the gas tank. I need this to recess in flush so that I can then weld to the outside of the bung to the gas tank. Well I ground, I ground that edge and, and created the shoulder that we needed and then I stuck it in my wire wheel to clean up the fitting and I still had my my welding gloves on at the time when I did this and I didn't have a good grip on the tube and the wire wheel grabbed the thing and ran it under the bench grinder and actually enough to stall out my bench bench grinder and uh, I thought everything was fine when I pulled it out and looked at it but I looked at it a little closer here and it took two notches they put two notches into our sealing surface on our AN fitting. So I pressure tested it anyway. I cleaned it up with a file and hit it with the wire wheel again. This time without the gloves on so I could have a good grip on it and good feel for it. And uh, stuck my AN fitting on there, pressure tested it again, and it leaks. And fortunately I left it long so I could trim it, trim it into size and fit it into the tank. Um, and that ends up ends up being a good thing because I'm going to have to cut this bung off and weld a new one on. So uh, I'm going to have to do this whole thing again with these draw straws. Well, at least with this one. So uh, yeah, kind of a kind of a draw on that one, win loss and draw. You know, uh, I got one of them done. The other one has to be uh, has to be redone. So in order to keep, I, I've ordered new bungs uh, from from Jags. So I could get them quickly, and uh, I should have them here by the end of the week. But I'm not going to wait around for them. I'm going to uh, continue putting hosing in the truck in the P48 project, and run all my hoses to the fuel pump. I, I'll leave them extra long so that when I get these draw straws finished and welded into the tank, I can put the tank in place, cut the hose to size, stick with the AN fittings on there, and be be done with the fuel system. Temporarily, I'll use a uh, you know, a Gatorade bottle or something of gasoline, and I'll stick my pickup hose and my return hose into it, and uh, that'll allow me to prime the system, get the fuel pump full of full of fuel, um, and fire the motor. I won't be able to run it for a long period of time, probably five minutes or so, but uh, at least I can continue working and continue making progress here. So that's going to wrap it up for me today, guys. Uh, you know, it's kind of a win-loss draw today day today. Um, had, a, had a win, had a loss, so I'm going to call it a draw. We'll just call it even. 
But uh, hey, you know, more work's going to continue on tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please click like and subscribe.